Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you two yummy and special recipes of chocolate. Chocolate bar and chocolate syrup or sauce. Both of the recipes are so easy to make and so much delicious to eat. Just like the market ones. So guys, let's see the recipe. Our first recipe is chocolate syrup. For making chocolate syrup, I have taken a vessel and now I am taking half cup of cocoa powder. For half cup of cocoa powder, I am taking 1 cup of sugar, half teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now I am adding milk, it's boiled milk. At first I am adding only half cup of milk and now I am mixing it very well until the mixture becomes lumps free. Later I am going to add more milk. I am going to use total uh, 2 cups of milk. Now it's lumps free and now I am adding the rest of the half cup of milk. Mixing well and 1 cup of milk more to add. This is the another cup of milk. After mixing well we need to cook it. So let's put it to cook. The heat is on now. And we need to wait for some time until the mixture starts to boil. It has started to boil as you can see guys. Now I am taking a cup and adding half tablespoon of corn flour in it and a little quantity of water. We need to mix it very well until it gets lumps free. Our corn flour slurry is ready. So now we need to add it in the uh, chocolate syrup. We need to stir it continuously while adding the slurry. Quickly after adding the slurry, the uh, syrup will get thickened. After that, we need to wait for some time until our desired consistency is here. Now I am showing the consistency of the syrup. There should be a nice coat on the back of the spoon. I am showing you. Here it is. But you may thicken it up until your desired consistency. I don't want the syrup so much thick. So now I am turning the heat off. And now we need to cool it down fully. After cooling down fully, it will be thicker than before. It's this consistency now. And I'll show you after cooling down. So guys the syrup is now fully cooled down and now this is the consistency. It's thicker than before as you can notice. This is the consistency of market chocolate syrup. So our chocolate syrup is ready. We need to store it in a container in the fridge. In the normal fridge it will stay for about 1 to 1 and a half months and in the freezer it will stay for about 6 to 7 months. Now you can use this chocolate syrup for making hot chocolate, chocolate milkshake, garnishing coffee, coating donuts, making chocolate ice creams etc. So guys try this simple recipe at home and forget the market ones. And don't forget to share your experience if you try this recipe. So guys let's go for our second recipe. The second recipe is chocolate bar. The market chocolate bars contain cocoa butter. But now at home we are going to make it with our normal butter or ghee. It's so much easy to make and very 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 healthy for your children or you. And you can see the chocolate. It's very much perfect just like the market ones. So guys let's see the recipe. For making chocolate bar I'm taking half cup of ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. You may take butter or cold pressed coconut oil instead. I heated the ghee and melted it down. And now I am taking a mixer jar, small mixer jar and now I am adding half cup of sugar. For half cup of ghee, I am adding half cup of sugar. Now we need to grind it to a powder. Our sugar powder is ready. Now we need to add the rest of the things in the mixer jar. So I am adding 1 fourth cup of milk powder. Remember the ratio, half cup of ghee half cup of sugar, one fourth cup of milk powder and about one fourth cup of cocoa powder. 
the quantity of cocoa powder should be increased or decreased there's no problem and half teaspoon of vanilla essence now i'm adding the ghee melted ghee of course after adding ghee we need to cover the mixer jar and run the mixer don't run the mixer continuously run it spontaneously like on off on off like this after running the mixer for about 30 seconds this is the texture but don't be afraid it's perfect for making our chocolate don't add any more ghee or butter in this mixture just mix it a little with the help of a spoon like this and run the mixer for another while don't stop the process until the mixer is ready for making our chocolate so let's do the process again after about one minute of running the mixture this is the texture but we need the mixture smoother than this so we need to run it for another while after mixing a little with the help of a spoon i'm running it again and now this is the texture and it's fully perfect for making our chocolate it's very soft and smooth now so let's go for making chocolate i have a silicone chocolate mold for making it here it is but if you don't have it you can still make it and i'll show you that at first i'm going to make it using this silicone mold we need to add the mixture in the silicone mold like this and we need to tap it a little there are two processes to make chocolate bars one is double boiler and the second one is mixer process and i'm doing it with the second process in a future video i'm going to show you the double boiler process so this way we need to spread the mixture in the chocolate mold and tap it like this to smoothen the upper part of the chocolate and it's done as you can see now we need to keep it in the freezer for about 2 to 3 hours to set after 2 to 3 hours it will be perfect for eating and now i'm going to show you if you don't have the chocolate mold you can use the ice trays of the freezer so i'm putting the mixture in the ice tray like this all of the mixture is taken out as you can see nothing is wasted so let's keep it in the freezer for about two to three hours after freezing this is our chocolate and it's fully set to eat let's demold the chocolate at first the silicone mold bar it's very easy to demold just to remove the silicone mold like this and our chocolate bar is ready as you can see it's very perfectly made just like the market ones i'm showing you breaking it and now i'm removing the chocolates from the ice tray just like removing ice so guys chocolate is very perfect now it's time to break the chocolate and show its perfectness so you can see guys it's very much hard just like the market chocolate it's so perfect and the taste is awesome just like the market chocolate i'm showing you eating it you can see guys it's fully perfect and so tasty so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next